I hope that you're doing great. So welcome back to the fifth zone. As for me, I'm really feeling cold today because it's winter time in Mauritius and in Mauritius we're not used to cold weather. It's almost, I think, 16 or 17 degrees and we are freezing in Mauritius. So welcome back and I want to share with you today five books that really had an impact on my life. Since I was a teenager up to now, five books that really helped me and is continuing to help me today to become all that God wants me to be. Let's see what I have to tell you about those five books. Let's get started. So the first one, friends, it's a book called Love Yourself by Walter Probisch. So this book, it's about self-acceptance and depression. And this is the first book that I started to read um, when I was a teenager. So talking about books, since I was a little child, maybe seven, eight years old, I really love books. That I love story books. I love adventures. I'd, I'd like, I'd love uh, books that spoke, um, that had images in it, you know. And whenever I will go to shopping with mom or my dad, and I will always ask for books. Buy me books. <laughs> I really love books. But during my teenage years, when I started college, um, I was not really 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 reading but when i started really reading was i when i started traveling you know because my school was very far from where i live one hour or more by bus but i had this time to read and therefore i one day i think i i, I my dad came and gave me i think one of those books and I was saying to myself, how would I read spiritual books? Would it be interesting? Would it be boring? Or how will it be? But then, you know, what happened is I needed those books because I noticed that those years at the college, those years being a teenager was quite hard for me. And it was a very difficult life. It, it was not difficult, sorry. It was a very different life. It was very different from the life that I was living when I was in primary school. Secondary school was not the same. And before I started reading spiritual books, during um, the trip to school, I started to read. And one of them was this book that really, I must say, had an impact on me. This is the book by Walter Trobisch, like you can see, Love Yourself. So this book, it's about self-acceptance and depression. It really helped me because I was undergoing some very difficult um, time during my teenage years, you know. And, you know, teenage years, in fact, it's the transition from childhood to adulthood. And I was also going through so much during those teenage years. Because everything was different, as I said. My friends was different. The mindset was different. You know, when persons are, when when um, uh, children are still at primary school, they have they have another mindset. Sorry. So when they come at the secondary school, the mindset start to grow. This mindset start to 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 be a bit like the parents, for example. You know. And then they don't accept people that are, are different from them. And uh, you know these types of things that people, that teenagers do. They, 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 they have their groups and they don't like to get people that are very different in their groups. You know what I mean? And sometimes teenagers face rejection, face and they say peer pressure, you know. That's a great phenomenon these days peer pressure a great word so how are we going to really help our teenagers i think through advice but particularly through books that are really helpful especially christian 
books why i specify in christian books friends because i think the values in the christian books will really help our teenagers because during our teenage years it's where really our identity starts to grow it's it's where we are searching i must say for our identity you know and teenagers um are really uh those those kinds of of persons that really like to compare themselves we don't find ourselves maybe beautiful enough intelligent enough or we we are not um, like the others and this certainly cause sadness or depression in in teenagers you know and i think that's when this book come into essence this book really helped me you know and like i said i read this book maybe i was 14 or 15 yes 13 or 14 years uh old when i read this book but it, it didn't like um immediately change me it took years and i i had to assimilate what i have read in this book in this book particularly but it did help me it did help me in my maturity it did help me to understand people you know if today and a teenager come and tell me about a rejection tell me about peer pressure tell, tell me about sadness i will understand because i went through those things and i know what you can do to to really fight those um uh, difficult phase of your life you know but this book really helped me during those years that were difficult for me you know so now for with with this we come to the second book that has really had a great impact on my not only spiritual life but also my my emotional life i must say and this second book is this book good morning holy spirit by benny hinn so i really love this book because you know this was uh, an eye-opening book i must say on the holy spirit this book really made me understand more about the person of the holy spirit because sometimes you know we talk about the holy spirit we read about the holy spirit we might tend to think that the holy spirit is only a power or, or the holy spirit is only um like a dove you know but this book made me understand that the Holy Spirit is above all a person. And the Holy Spirit is the most beautiful person that you can find on this earth. Even if you can't see him with your eyes, but you can see him with your spiritual eyes, friends. And this pastor, Benny Hinn, as you know, he's a great evangelist. And uh, he wrote on this book and he he he, he uh, gave his testimony how he met the holy spirit and how his life was touched when he went um to that uh, convention that day where uh, there was this lady talking Catherine coleman she was talking about the holy spirit as if he is a real person she said don't hurt this person because i love him so much and everyone was expecting maybe her husband, maybe a friend, maybe her parents, maybe um, her child. I don't know. But she was talking about the Holy Spirit. And Ben Hinn was so touched in his heart. And that's when he, he that, that day he gave his life to Jesus. In fact, he was a Jew. He was of Jew origin, you know. He was of Jewish origin. When in fact he came to notice that his life has been empty without jesus without the holy spirit and that work it's only the holy spirit that can do in the life of a person it's only the holy spirit that convinces someone that you need jesus in your life and pastor benny Hinn gave his life and we know god has been working tremendously in his life he has been through many persecution even um uh, he had to face his parents that were of Jewish origin. They didn't like that he was now a Christian. 
but then he gave example he gave examples in this book how god has really fight for him has stand for him so i really really appreciate this book i can read it over again so if you are a new convert or if you are a teenager i will encourage you read this book you will come to know about the holy spirit and you will you will know the holy spirit not only as a person which is who is divine you know but you will know really the comforter he's the one he's the one who will comfort you he is the one that you can confide in you know sometimes people can can leave you people can reject you but the holy spirit he will never reject you even being a teenager friend he will not reject you you can confide in him you can tell him your, all your secrets and he will be there to comfort you so i will recommend that you read good morning holy spirit by the pastor benny king so now quickly now let's go to the third book the third one is the surgery of the soul so this one it's by william standish reed md so it's he is a he's a doctor and uh he ha he has he's the one who has studied really um how medicine and uh the spirit of man is closely linked and this book i have read it i think in my um i was a grown-up teenager by then maybe 17 or 18 years uh, old oh yes i was i was um sitting i was nearly sitting for my higher school certificate and i read it i think i read it at home because you know when you're sitting for your higher school certificate you have to remain at home to study or whatever so whenever i had a time i loved to read this book and this book you know what's really wonderful about this book i have learned a lot this book tells you about how sometimes sickness in the body can be caused by a wrong emotion for example um rough for example you're angry with someone you don't know the impact of anger on your body you know you don't know about um how sadness can affect um your your um your your body you don't know how uh, hatred can really cause toxins in your body to react to 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 bring sickness for example so he he talked he emphasized about about really forgiving people he was talking about a lady who had cancer and this lady had a very bad experience in her life her husband um committed adultery with a woman and she never forget she never forgave that woman you know and she she had so much hatred for he for her husband that this caused a, a great sickness in her life and she had cancer and the doctor said he he was a spiritual person a spiritual type of person but he was also in medicine so he linked really the what the lady was going through and what hatred did to this lady so this is really surprising and i think you know this book really prepared me for what i had to go through in life because when you are um you're a, a teenager you are at school for example you don't really know about life you know you don't know for example the challenge that you f you will face at work the challenge that you will face in relationship for example so this really prepared me and i knew how to 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 tackle issues when they came my way how we have to really let go of things that really want to to uh, to keep us in bondage if i can say how to really tackle our emotions so this book i always refer to this book because it really really um opened my eyes i can see i can say on this subject of forgiveness or the subject of emotions how your emotions is really connected with your body so friends if you want to be in good health forgive people forgive people who has was really hurted you deeply you know because they are not the one who will who will pay when you're you're um, not forgiving you know 
you are the one who will go through a lot of things maybe physically or emotionally and these people they are free they are roaming about but you are the one that really um, putting strenuous difficulties on yourself you're putting pressure on your system you're putting pressure maybe on your heart or um, you're, you're, you're having toxins in your body because you have the wrong emotions so forgive it's so simple forgive others and when you forgive, forgive others you will heal yourself and you will prevent bad emotions you will prevent toxins from coming into, into your body you will prevent sickness from coming into your body so with this we come to the other book that really helped me in my life this one it was a career stage when i finished my uh, graduate i finished uh, university i finished the i was in fact doing acca and i started my career so this book by norman denson peel it's called you can if you think you can so this book has really helped me if you have difficulty in your career or in your job you're thinking that the job is too difficult for you to handle or you think that you don't have the ability you don't have necessary um, uh, experience or whatever this book will help you and what I like about uh, Norman Vincent Peel is, is that he is a very inspirational um, author, but he talks a lot about God. He talks a lot about the Bible. He tells you, he, he, he makes you come back to your source, which is the Bible. Because, you know, sometimes there are many teachers, there are many authors, I can say, that talk about positive thinking. But what they do is they erase... Um, the source of positive thinking because positive thinking the source itself comes from the bible the bible says as man thinks in his heart so is he but certain pe person has has really taken this out of context and they made their own theory they say that you don't need anyth anything to be happy you just have to have your own thoughts you you have to to get everything from inside and they don't necessarily talk about God. They don't necessarily talk about the source, which is the Bible. So that's why I really admire this author. And I love all his books. But particularly this book helped me because um, I was starting my career. And I was having doubts about my abilities. And this really helped me, friends. So if you don't have it, get yourself a copy now with this i come to the first book that's very important that still have a great impact on my life and since i was a child it really helped me in all difficult moments in my life and drum rolls please for the first book for the, the top book that really really helped me and is really helping me right now and i know in the future will help me again this is the holy bible so you know the bible is not only a book like any other book but the holy bible the bible it's the inspirational book of god it's like a love letter that god gave to humanity that god gave to people that accept jesus christ that persons that, that say yes god we want this relationship with you the Bible is not meant to be a religious book, but it's a, a book of relationship with your Creator. And you know, the Bible is here to comfort you. In those diff difficult moments that we are, we are going through, it's sometimes quite depressing to look at the news. It's depressing to maybe to look at people, that prices are rising. People don't have, don't have anything to eat, maybe it's difficult some people have lost their jobs you know but i can say with confidence that this book will work blessings and wonders in your life and will, will really comfort you because all the promises in this book is true all the promises in this book will come to pass and they are true and this book it's not only like the books that you read but it's spirit and it's truth this book will give you life and just to 
to to give you a little testimony what i why i said that since i was a child up to now this book is helping me helping me because you will see in my previous videos i talk about my testimony and this testimony is a living proof how the bible how in only one word in the bible can really work miracles in your life i remember one day i was at hospital after having gone through a major uh, accident and i was on the verge of losing my right foot i was talking to god i was saying what 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 is happening to me i'm only 12 years of old and i'm at hospital i don't know whether i will go out of hospital with my foot what is happening god i remember that day my dad just let leave this book with me the bible he didn't say anything he left this book with me and i was desperate i didn't know what will happen to me in the next few hours but i i remember feeling alone at hospital i took the bible and i opened it when i opened it i went directly in the books of proverbs chapter 3 verse 26 that verse spoke to me directly that verse told me your foot shall not be taken i was shocked i said wow god is talking to me and i kept this word in my heart and it never leave me until today i think about this verse that god gave me and it was a challenging moment there's a lot of fight that that has been going on there's a lot of struggle but i can tell you that i won with god made me won. god fought my battles and of course with the family i'm we managed to get out of the situation but i got out with my food god did not leave me alone god did not let me be ashamed you know and that's why i said all his promises in this book they are true they are spirit and they are true it's not god is not a man that he should lie whatever he said he will do in your life he will do it but how you will know his promises how you will know about everything he has promised you it's through this bible so friend if you don't have a bible get yourself a copy and not only get yourself a copy but do read it because it contains promises for you and god will talk to you through this book so friends here we are today about my five top books i really hope that you have appreciated this video if you have appreciated don't forget to leave a little comment in the box and um, i will surely leave a link for all the books i have mentioned so that you can get yourself a copy but the most important one is get yourself a bible and it will really work wonders in your life so goodbye and um, i hope that i will see you in my next video so if you have been blessed share the video and let god work in the life of others through the faith zone bye bye